Hi, so Glynis and I have a little bit of an update on the 2022 housing market. Hey, Glynis, are you interested? She's not interested, but stay tuned and uh, we'll get some good information for you. Well, so Glynis and I have uh, just a little bit of an update and something of a prediction for the 2022 housing market in Kansas City. And it kind of is really all over the United States because we're all in the same boat. So here we go. So I'm gonna kind of start with the bad news. The bad news is, and you've heard this all over on the news and your neighbors and all your friends who know everything about real estate is the inventory is low. It is very, very low, and that is true. And I'm gonna show you um, some data that comes from the National Association of Realtors, and it is national data. And Kansas City is um, just really right smack dab in the middle, as usual, of all the same uh, rado, ratios on how high the inventory is or how low it is. So what we're looking at here is where we were, and I'm just using December because it was easy to get, December of 2020 compared to December of 2021. The national average you see kind of at the middle of the bottom of the slide almost is almost 27% down year over year. And as you can see across the country, most of the country is in this lighter brown color between 15 and 30% down. And that is where Kansas City, greater Kansas City is as well. And we're seeing that on the streets as we're trying to find homes for our buyers. I'm getting a question again, will this most recent surge of coronavirus affect the, the real estate housing inventory? And I really don't think it will. Um, we didn't see too much of a, of a correction or change when last year when we had the Delta variant. And this time we're not expecting to see that uh, the coronavirus really affect the amount of homes available and coming on the market. Here is a little bit of good news that I can tell you. I can tell you that the pandemic is not slowing down buyers. It is not slowing this market down at all. And actually showings are continuing to crush pre-pandemic numbers. So this is a look at the showings over the last five Novembers. And this comes from Showing Time, one of the graphs, graphs that we use in Kansas City. And here you can see 2017, 2018, and 2019 in the gray. Um, these were really pretty much the last three normal years, maybe in the world, but definitely in real estate. In 2020, we see the shoot up there in activity, the blue, the blue bar. We know very well what that was all about. And certainly in 2021, we're seeing even more of that. And activity remains strong all through the holiday season this year as well. And we're really coming into a very strong spring. So if you are a homeowner and you're thinking about what, how this even affects you at all, it affects your equity in a big way. Things that you can look at are, do you know how much your home is worth? Do you know how much that you owe on your home? Uh, if you do a little bath with those numbers, you will quickly find out your equity. Uh, you can contact probably any real estate agent and I would love to help you to give you a basic idea of what your home is worth if you were to sell this spring and you may be very surprised. You can get my information in the notes at the bottom. Now the question is what can you do with that equity? You could do a couple different things. You could uh, use it to buy a bigger house. You could use it to save a little bit of a nest egg. You, If you were ready to cash out with your equity but you don't have a place to go and you don't want to try to find a house in this market, I know quite a few people who are doing that and choosing to rent and either oops, stay in a, an apartment or rent a home for a little bit until things calm down on the buying side and you can really figure out where you want to go and not be rushed. That is quite an option. One thing that we are seeing a lot of in the news lately and a lot of people have been asking me about this is the rates. Are the rates going to go up? Um, and the, the guess is, yes, they are going to go up, but it's not as scary as it might seem. The market has had some volatility and that does make a difference. We know that inflation is a concern and we know that they're discussing how much interest rates will raise. So that's happening. But if you think about how low they have been, an all-time record low, when we're talking about them going up, 
we're not predicting crazy, crazy numbers. We're predicting maybe mid high threes into 4%. And when you think about that, even in middle 4%, that is not crazy. And it does, it's not gonna slow the buyers down at, to, um, to invest in a home for the first time buyers. And even those who are taking their equity out of their homes and downsizing or up, up uh, moving up into a larger home, it's, it's not as scary as you may be led to believe. So um, interest rates will go up, but it's not gonna cripple. It's not gonna stop everything. So to wrap it up, we see lots of action in, oh, Glennis is now interested. She's gonna help me wrap it up. We do see lots of activity in the real estate market. The buyers are buying, it's a seller's market. Sellers have lots of power to pick which buyer, which deal they want to uh, move forward with. It's a tremendous opportunity if you own a home to, to get some equity out of that home and the buyers aren't going to be stopping anytime soon. 2022 is going to be fire and exciting and um, I'm looking forward to it. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe so that you get them every Tuesday and like it for me too. Thanks for watching.